This tutorial takes you through five steps to build, deploy and test a mock REST API for a to-do list. A mock is like a simulation. So, there is no real backend which the API interacts with. This is a great exercise if you want to get practice with Amazon API Gateway. This video uses the JSON placeholder to do fake API as a reference for our todos. The API you gonna build consists of five methods. Two methods for querying data. One method for creating data. Updating data. And deleting data. You also gonna create a model representing the to-do API payload. Our project consists of five steps, as presented here. To implement the project in this video, please ensure the following prerequisites. Check out the video description if you need assistance with any of these prerequisites. First step. Build your REST API. To build your REST API, access the AWS console and head over to the Amazon API Gateway service. Find the REST API option and hit build. Select new API and give it a descriptive name. Next, create a resource. A resource represents a data object your clients are interested in. In the API Gateway console, click on Actions, then select Create Resource. In this video, we are building a to-do API. Therefore, our resource is called Todos. Notice the resource path is filled automatically. This is the resource path our clients must inform in the API endpoint. Second step. Create queries. In this step, you're gonna create methods that simulate data retrieval from a backend. This is a simulation since we are building a mock API. Therefore, there is no real backend to interact with. Your API can query all to-do data or a to-do with a particular ID. First off, let's create the method that queries all to-do data. To do so, click Actions and select Create Method. In the drop-down list, choose Get and Confirm. For the integration type, select Mock and Save. The method execution page shows the path a request follows back and forth the backend. To simulate a response, choose Integration Response. Expand the existing method response. And add a mapping template as an application JSON type. A mapping template enables transforming the backend response into the format expected by your client. In this video, our backend doesn't return anything. Therefore, our mapping template has a fixed response. Our mapping template simulates a task list. Save it, and return to the method execution page. You can check if your API is behaving as expected by choosing test.
Next, let's create the method that queries a to-do with a particular ID. Create a new resource appended to the todos resource. This new resource represents the ID informed as part of the resource path. Enclose the resource path in curly braces, meaning that the ID holds a value, like a variable. You can notice the new resource in the resource tree. Then, create a git method for ID. And integrate it with your mock backend. As before, add an integration response simulating the data response for this request. Unlike the previous query, this method requires a path parameter. We can enforce this by adding a validator. Choose method request. and add a request validator. Notice the request path tab shows our path parameter. If you test this method without informing the ID, you can see API Gateway automatically returns an error informing the missing parameter. Informing the parameter, the expected result is presented. Third step. Enable insert and update. In this step, you're gonna create post and put methods. The post method is responsible for creating a new to-do. Whereas the put method is responsible for updating a to-do. Also, you're gonna create a model representing a to-do. API Gateway uses this model for validating post and put requests made against your API. To create a post method, follow the same process previously used for creating the git method but select post instead. To create a to-do model, expand the primary navigation pane. Choose models. And click create. Enter a descriptive name for your model. Set the content type, and optionally, a model description. You also gonna need a model schema. The model schema describes the structure of your JSON payload. API Gateway uses JSON schema to create models. You can easily create a model schema using a JSON to JSON schema converter. Check out the link in the description to use the same converter we use in this video. Enter your JSON payload. In this video, we removed the ID attribute assuming that the ID is generated by the API. So, it shouldn't be present when a post or put request is submitted. Copy the generated JSON schema, and paste it into the model schema box. Then, choose create model. You can note that your model is now listed in the models list. To attach the model to the post method, choose resources, in the primary navigation pane. Then, choose post. and method request.
Expand the Request Body tab. Choose Add Model. And enter the content type. Select the previously created to view model and confirm. Also, add a request validator. Finally, create a mapping template that simulates a response for you post request. Notice that the JSON payload in the post response has an ID attribute, simulating that the to-do was created, and now has its own primary key. Next, for enabling a to-do update, choose the ID resource in the resources pane, and create a put method. As before, Enable request validation and set the to-do model. Notice the validation is gonna validate both the path parameter and the request body. Add an integration response, as before. You may want to test your recently created methods before moving on. Fourth step. Enable delete and deploy the API. In this step, you're gonna create the last method for your CRUD API. And then, you're gonna make the API available to API users by deploying it. First off, Select the ID resource in the resources pane and create a delete method. The delete method works pretty much like the put method, but no payload is required or returned. Because there is no return payload, you need a way to let the API client know the request was successful. In this video, we use the 204 HTTP status code to inform the client that to-do deletion succeeded. To set the status code, choose method response. And add the 204 status code as a response. Then, choose Integration Response and add an integration response mapping any 200 response to the 204 status code. We use a regex, meaning that any 200 response will be mapped to the method response status set. Your to-do API is now ready for API users to use it. So, choose Actions, and select Deploy API. You need a stage to deploy your API. A stage is a named reference to a lifecycle state of your API. For instance, you may have an alpha stage, in an early development step of your API. Then, you evolve your API and deploy it to a beta stage, and so on. If this is your API first deploy, you need to create a stage, and then deploy your API. The stage editor page shows the API endpoint your clients can call to use your API. Last step. Test and clean up. 
In this step, you're gonna use the API endpoint to call your API as an API user. In this video, we use curl, a command line tool for data transfer, as our REST client. So, if you wanna follow the instructions from here on, make sure you get curl installed. Open up your terminal, and use your API endpoint to query existing todos. Don't forget to add the to-do resource at the end of the URL. Try adding a number as a path parameter, simulating a to-do ID. Next, create a new to-do by submitting a post request with a given payload. Don't forget we created a validator for post requests. So, you must submit the payload using the format the validator expects. Then, try updating a to-do with a put method. Finally, delete a to-do. Notice the request returns with the 200 HTTP status code, as we configured the API to-do. When you are done, you can delete your API.